Unfortunately, for Babe the Pig Tart here, I'm back in Rust. Decided to try the game again, it's apparently been updated quite a bit. As you can see, you now start with a rock instead of an axe. You've actually got to build an axe now. So there are many rock-wielding cavemen chasing pigs at the moment. And you also start off completely nude. But I'll go and find a base and then tell you a bit more about it. Now I've decided this time to actually build onto an existing structure rather than building the base from scratch, of course. In fact, I need to get some food. Uh, your food and health, if you've never seen this game before on my channel, it's in the bottom right. It kind of works like DayZ, uh, in that you've got to eat food. I actually got food poisoning there, which is why it took away a little bit of my health, because I'm eating raw chicken. You can, of course, cook it on a fire. But I'm looking around a bit. I think this is probably a pretty good location here. got some neighbours, as you can see. And actually down there, there's a glitch zombie area where there's just a ton of zombies and suitcases. And that's basically where you get blueprints, and from those you can build better stuff. If you're wondering why I've just killed a pig and I got chicken... Don't even ask. Apparently it's a chicken pig, which in my opinion is probably the best kind of pig. But it looks like my neighbours here have been abandoned. So, I'm going to see if I can fortify this up once I've got some wood. And see what we can do from here. I've just started barricading up my base. I'm not going to show you the crafting system, uh, because I've shown it in previous videos. If you're new to the game, you basically collect wood, resources, and then you can craft all these different items. These are just standard wooden barricades. They can get knocked down with a hatchet. Or with satchel charges, so you're not entirely secure. But I'm going to put a door at either end, just because I don't want to get trapped in at one end. Because one of the problems you can have is people rolling like teams of two to come and raid your base. One just watches the door, and the other tries to hatchet it down, and that's you know that that's generally what people do. Uh, so I want to have a sort of escape route out the other side in case anybody does that, so I can come round and shoot them. Managed to build myself a handgun now. Um, Got to get some more bullets though, because I've only got 11 rounds in it at the moment. Sounds suspicious, they like a plane. It is. So, in this scenario, the radioactive thing and the zombies have attacked us. There are supply drains which drop these massive loot piles over the land that parachute down. These are added in quite recently to the game. So, as this one's quite close to me, in fact they both are, and that zombie's after it as well. I'm going to go and see if I can get some stuff there. The problem is that, of course, everybody can see this parachuting down. I just tend to contain C4 charges and stuff like that, so basically everybody goes there. I don't know what that blueprint it was he gave me. That's good. Now I can build an M4. That's the best gun in the game at the moment. There are no snipers, because basically people would buy a, build a high tower and then just shoot out of it. If snipers are in. Like that tower out there, in fact. You can still kind of snipe with the M4, but there is a sort of... I think there's a bit of travel time on the bullets. But I think this, this supply crate is going to drop down right here. I don't think there's anybody around. Oh, there is. There's a naked man! This truly is a land of cocks. I'm just I'm not just random banditing here, by the way. Oh my goodness. C4 charges. But this game is it is PvP, essentially. Oh, that is a terribly unfortunate shot of that guy right there. I'm so glad the armor bar's covering him. Not entirely sure why there was the design decision to make everybody naked, but I still got myself a shotgun now. So be able to put this to good use. Try those satchel charges somewhere. I figured this was probably the most interesting base to break into. Since they've even decorated outside with these pole things. Somebody has clearly no life, this one. But I would imagine behind this door there's just going to be several other metal doors as well. Because satchel charges are very expensive, so you're pretty much... In fact, I think you need at least two for a door, perhaps three. So I won't be able to break through these. Unless somebody's already damaged a little bit first, which I don't think they will have done. No. Well, that's basically what they do, so you can break through. They are really expensive, though, so you've got to spend so much time build, actually actually building stuff to do it. I'm entirely sure that Rust does the right sort of in, like crafting system in it, and that even to build something like a wooden door, it takes like 30 seconds, and you can't you can't basically do anything else apart from that. 
It's like when I'm playing DayZ, I feel kind of like I'm surviving, whereas in Rust, I feel like I'm sort of inventory managing just to do little things. It's nearly night time, but I'm just going to check out this compound here and then head back to my base because pretty much all the other survivors will be way back at theirs, so there might be some good loot left here. But at night, the zombies tend to be a bit more aggressive and you have to use like torches and stuff which give away your position. What the fuck is that? It's a bear. Holy smokes! Apparently they've put wild animals in this as well then. I made myself a bear jumper. I've already got that. So you can give you like your your blueprints to your friends and stuff. But I don't get the hell out of here. Man, I'm so glad I was inside there. I hear footsteps. I don't think it really helps that everybody's dressed as a bandit. Alright, this guy's fucked. So, that's the first non-naked guy we found, fortunately. As you can see. Uh, it actually, he hasn't got a top on there, but when you build clothes and stuff, it basically puts those on you. So, you can see how much sort of protection people have got now. Of course, previously, it was just like a fixed model. It's kind of a big improvement, really, to the game. He's actually got some rad suit pants here and stuff. So, as you can hear, there's a bit of crackling in the background. Certain areas, uh, like the one I'm at where loot spawns, they have radiation. And that's in the game to kind of stop people building in the best areas and just, like, hoarding all the loot. Because, obviously, if you stay in a radiated area, it'll eventually kill you if you stay in there. So, you basically can't build in areas like that. So it's the next day, and somebody's actually built overnight a base right next to mine, just on top of this where I was yesterday. There's a guy right there. I think I just saved my neighbour there. I think that guy was waiting outside, because he's built like a little... I think that guy had built like a little... You'll see it in a second, it's just around here. Um, but, yeah. You see, he's built this little, like... Set of... I think that's the guy actually. Now, that wasn't very nice. I suppose I shot him, but it wasn't very nice because I actually saved that guy from the guy who stood behind his door. He was also waiting for him. But I think that wedge guy is actually the guy who's who lives in this building here. I think he just came out as I shot the guy who was up there. Um, so I kind of saved then killed him. Of course, in this game, you just respawn straight back in your base, so he's probably up there at the moment. But uh, I think he lost a shotgun there. Yeah, you see, he's fortified all up here. I think you can actually get... Yeah, this guy was waiting for him. Oh, crap. Oh. So I've decided to just come back and kill Wedge. As you do. He's, he's definitely still in here. I heard him moving. It's not Milby, he's doing well against all these shotgunners. This is it. Oh. I got like a free sale on naked people. That was a mistake. <laughs> I should have saved him. He's actually saved all his gear there, so... That was well played. He's dead now, though. I think he was trying to get his shotgun back. But you do bleed in this, so he uh, pretty much bled out of there. Unfortunately, these guys have probably got some gear, yeah. Yeah, that was actually a really nice move from him, because uh, he locked the door behind me when I was actually in his base, so that saved all his gear. Hey, hey, I'm just friendly. Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. I, was I didn't shoot that guy, just because... What a cool name. You know, if you're going to be naked, call yourself Disco Knight. So there's been another supply drop, which I'm just going after with my hollow pistol, because just kind of looks cool. I think they actually landed in the middle of that guy's base. It's <laughs> a lucky spot to put it. I suppose it could do that if you're lucky enough to land on you. Oh my goodness. We got contact. This pistol's been doing, been doing pretty well for me. Ooh. Well. 
Must have already been injured by that other guy. Got a bunny hopper. Oh crap. 